everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with enabling the F8 key on your Windows server if Windows is failing to start. So it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what you want to do is if you have the Windows installation media on your computer, it says Windows Setup. So if you're booting from the ISO file or DVD, whatever the installation media is on, you want to go ahead and let's just say you're on the Windows screen versus Windows Server, language to install, time and currency format, and keyboard or input method. You want to go ahead and select Next, and then there would be an option to repair your computer. You go ahead and select that, and then you would select Troubleshoot, then you would select Advanced Options, and then you would select Command Prompt. So again, you would select Next on the initial Windows Setup screen, then select Repair Your Computer, then select Troubleshoot, and then select Advanced Options, and then finally you would launch the Command Prompt tile. You click on that. And that's where we're going to start with today's video, so I'm just going to go open up the Command Prompt window here. And I'm going to go ahead and select Yes. So I'm going to have two commands in the description of my video. You guys can just copy them directly from that. However, you're probably just going to have to type it in as you see it on my screen manually because you're not going to be booting into Windows. But I'm going to actually go ahead and just type it in here. So basically it's bcd edit space forward slash set and then it's a curly bracket boot mgr then a closed curly bracket then a space display boot menu and then space yes and you want to hit enter. It should say the operation completed successfully and then the second command should say bcd edit space forward slash set another space and then another curly bracket here boot mgr close curly bracket and then timeout 10 how you see it on my screen here and it will be in the description of the video as well hit enter the keyboard should say the operation has completed successfully so at this point if you close out of the installation media and restart your computer and attempt to tap the F8 key and attempt to tap the F8 key on the Windows Boot Manager screen it should load up if you're actually able to boot into Windows here you can do it as well through here I'm just assuming that you guys are probably trying to install Windows and you're unable to actually boot into it so that's why I am giving the steps of how to get to that from the installation media as well but I think it's just a little nicer and neater just to show it from the desktop which is why I'm displaying it how I am here but Again, command prompt on Windows, it's the same function as the command prompt on the installation media. So, pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.